wouldn't say that I believe in art as an investment. I say that I believe in art. Because I believe in art, and because I've seen how art has performed, that I know that art is a good investment. In general, art investment funds offer a lot of advantages to art investment. Artemundi Global Fund adds five key aspects. We have the ability to buy and negotiate, pay fair prices, and build a portfolio, cutting out extensive and absurd commissions. We buy from gallery owners, respectful galleries. We buy from private dealers. We buy from private individuals. Another thing that is very important is the ability to build on economies of scale a reduction in the cost per transaction. Through the implementation of our investment protocol, we can minimize the cost attributed to each work in particular. In our experience, the cost of the expense of managing and running the fund is just 0.6%, where the industry is 1.5%. Generally speaking, we can safely say that we can manage a portfolio in art for about $1,275 per million per year. We build a diversified portfolio that covers 500 years of history, where most of art dealers and galleries, etc., they specialize on a movement in particular, we are able to cover a broader audience and a broader spectrum by covering more than 500 years of history. Since 2008, our returns yearly has been in the double digits. And that's just a way of saying how we offset the perceived higher risk with a higher return. The first and most important way to add value to a work of art is by holding it. We know that the longer we hold an artwork, the lesser the risk. We know that in the last 50 years, according to some indexes, art appreciates at around 9.3%, which is a quite an attractive return when we compare it to the equities return on 9.6%. Really spend a lot of time on academic studies on all of the works that we buy. We also put a lot of emphasis in provenance. Uh, we know that um, one of the ways to establish uh, authenticity is also through provenance. We rely heavily on academics and experts and we always, not only we rely on the experts, we also try to find consensus among the various experts, so sometimes there's more than one. Then we know that another way to add value to the work of art is through conservation, preservation and enhancement of the work of art, meaning if a painting is 200 years old and has gone through a process of deterioration, we can add value by improving the condition of the painting, adding to the support of the painting, meaning the canvas. Um, and that will be another way of adding value. And then finally, through investigation, through th thorough investigation, we know that we can dig deep into the ownership of the, the prior ownership of the painting and perhaps there was um, somebody very noticeable that had owned the painting beforehand and that had values to the painting. First of all, we're gonna look at the portfolio, the ability to balance the portfolio. But there are four big categories under which there are other subcategories. The first one will be the technical analysis. Then we go to the academic valuation, the curatorial um, examination. Finally, the financial valuation. And also through a series of subcategories, we're going to give them a valuation. We're going to value them between minus one and four. 
If the work of art, if the punctuation of the work of art, the, the value of the work of art is in excess of 80 points out of 100, therefore we have a work that is a double A plus, then we decide to buy. And the combination of all those values, which require a very thorough due diligence process, very thorough and very lengthy, sometimes we can take up to 40 days. We look at a work of art, we do a preliminary evaluation, we decide if it goes through committee through a thorough evaluation. The thorough evaluation is the protocol, the examination protocol, which I was just describing. In Art Muni Global Fund, we believe in art. And we also believe that it's a fabulous investment.